Hello everyone and thanks for viewing. thought I'd take a moment here and just share a few photos from my uh, work in the power supply section on that uh, 4B231. Starting out here, working around that synchronous uh, vibrator socket here, replacing uh, R10, the two resistors. And then uh, next, moving along here to the uh, buffer caps, which are the high voltage uh, capacitors. Uh, you can see the originals rated at 1200 volts DC, and I went back with uh, uh, 2 kVA. And I uh, got those in place, and uh, it really turned out well, neatened up um, everything around that area. The uh, two capacitors there together that I'm pointing out uh, didn't have the uh, proper value, so I went back with uh, 2.25s to get the 0.5 uh, microfarad as uh, called out on the schematic. That's uh, capacitor C9. In addition, you can see part number 9, which is one of the RF chokes that we took a uh, closer look at, 4.8 uh, micro Henry's, and I've got that back in place. And here I'm just moving back toward the uh, power choke itself and that other RF choke that was kind of buried back in the corner just above the electrolytic can. Just looking at some of the uh, solder locations and some things that I'll have to undo before uh, prepping here and getting the uh, new capacitors in place. Same uh, exercise here. I removed the uh, can itself for the electrolytics and uh, did find that missing lead that was protruding out there did uh, come from the original capacitor. Uh, here you can see I'm just getting my uh, new capacitors in place uh, to be put inside the uh, can. So uh, three new electrolytic capacitors. Uh, two that tie directly back into the uh, choke the RF choke, that is, and the uh, power choke, and then the uh, third one uh, going back over to uh, one of the tubes there. Here I leverage the uh, coil method for the uh, positive and the negative side of the electrolytic capacitors. Uh, makes it simple and easy to uh, work as well as to uh, tear back apart if uh, needed in the future. So these are just restuffed in the can. The leads will uh, protrude through, as you can see here in this next photo and uh, I'll do the tie-ins. Here I'm moving along to that other RF choke and I thought I would check it out of circuit and you can see uh, around one millihenry, so not much of a change there. And then just looking again at the uh, connection points here for the uh, power choke that were uh, desoldered and cleaned up as well. In an earlier video I had mentioned that tar-like substance placed over the uh, power choke. If uh, someone knows again what that was on there for, please let me know. I would guess it's for uh, maybe sound, vibration. You can see here I'm remeasuring the inductance of the uh, choke at about 12.5 uh, Henry's. Uh, here I'm making an X connection and uh, the purpose for that was to tie back into the uh, choke itself instead of having uh, two separate leads. And here I did a mid cut uh, to go back to the RF choke as well, where one of the uh, terminal lugs broke off. Uh, just to simplify things here, getting things back together. And you can see here, I'm uh, just about wrapped up. I'm just uh, recapping. It's uh, pretty simple, straightforward. And there's that other electrolytic that I did the tie-in as well with that orange lead that, that you'll see just in a moment coming across here that I tied in. So someone had placed that other electrolytic outside of the uh, power supply side. Here's that other missing resistor that I was looking for, R11. You can see where it was bypassed here and the terminal strip was not being used. Again, that's where the uh, lamp itself uh, should have attached back down at that point uh, where I had the pencil located. The uh, resistor values uh, right on the mark, and uh, you can see here I've removed it from the circuit. I'm going to uh, leverage a 6 volt lamp, and I've tied that in uh, directly to the uh, terminal strip there for the uh, 6 volt input supply. In lieu of using that specialty bulb. Okay, I had already shown some close up pictures here of the uh, power supply circuit. It's just so crowded in here, even with the modern day components. And uh, I think better depicted by uh, some still photos there in a the slideshow that I uh, showed earlier. And uh, here's some of the other uh, few resistors here one, two that I've replaced uh, thus far. It's a simple set, so there's not a lot of resistors in here. 
Uh, I think I've checked this one, this one, and they're well within uh, 20%, but I've uh, still got a few more here to, to check. Uh, just to make certain, and you can see I've got uh, modern day uh, capacitors in. This one I may uh, play around with. This uh, will control the amount of uh, treble or bass uh, that I'm able to um, hear out of the speaker. And uh, this being a, a lower value uh, will bring a, a more of a treble type sound out of the speaker. So uh, just like I've done in some other videos, I may uh, increase this value and uh, give the uh, radio just a little bit more bass. That uh, depends, again, if we're able to get this thing up and actually uh, playing. Preliminary check of all the uh, IF coils with the tubes removed. I'm getting uh, resistance readings that I think that are in line. So I think the uh, oscillator coil and the IFs are uh, okay. I'm a little suspect here with the on and off and volume control. And I'll expand more on that in just a bit. This is my uh, B plus lead. And you'll see I'm going to have it jumpered in when I bring this thing up. It attaches right here. So for now, I've got this loose. And uh, this should be my 147 volts coming from the uh, power supply itself. As you can hear, the uh, Xena 4B231 is actually playing here on a 6 volt supply. And uh, you can hear the uh, vibrator here as well. I'm going to turn the volume down here. I have not completed the restoration, but the uh, vibrator continues to uh, fail. That's after you know rebuilding the uh, power supply circuit that you guys saw. But uh, I'm not surprised we're well outside that 90-day warranty that they uh, promised back in the day. And I checked all the tubes, and the tubes are uh, okay. I've got uh, one uh, tube here I've got to uh, replace. It's a little bit weak, and then I want to put a matching tube here in the detector oscillator. See if I can find an original um, 6 delta 8 in lieu of the 6 alpha 8, but um, it's uh, working with that particular tube. You'll see my uh, B plus voltage here is uh, low. It should be about 147 volts at this tie-in point here. And I'm only about, uh, what, 89 volts. And the uh, vibrator is uh, intermittent in nature. It will actually uh, just seize up here and stop uh, working, which I'm not surprised. So uh, let's go ahead and take the uh, vibrator apart and uh, see if we can um, do anything with it. 